Good afternoon, everyone. This is Shannon Wagner, uh, one of the trainers for uh, Aging and Wellness Institute. I uh, look forward to working out with you guys today. Uh, we, I'm, gonna, I'm on early just so that everyone has a chance to get on uh, so we can um, uh, get to working out together. So we'll just, I'm gonna hold here. We've got about three minutes before we start. So we'll just hold on and I'll let everyone get on. Got a good workout for you today. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Carolyn. Good to see you. I assume Mark as well. Nice to see you guys. Got a good workout for you today. So we'll start, we'll go over the details here in just about two minutes. We'll see if anyone else gets on live today. Hoping everybody can hear me well. Uh, we had a glitch the other day uh, with some of the sound. Uh, Facebook did some changing up on us, so it kind of threw us for a loop for a little bit, but we're back in, back in business. All right, it's 4.58, so we'll just keep waiting here. You guys can get everything ready. I am going to go over some of the details, but I want to wait till 5 o'clock so I can just, uh, but I'll tell you, those of you that are on, I'll say it twice here, um, Carolyn, Mark, uh, make sure you guys have your water uh, Samantha, if you're doing the workout as well, make sure you have your water. Um, we are going to use resistance resistance bands today as well as weights. So you'll want to get those. Hi, how are you, Catherine? Good to see you. See you, I say. All right. Excited to work out with you guys today. All right, guys, we'll give it just a few more minutes here. Okay, guys, um, we're right at five o'clock. So I am gonna go, like I said, just go back over what exactly you're going to need today. So I've got um, my resistance bands here. So one of them I have the handles on, the other one I don't, and that will work just fine. Um, the ones with the handles, you're probably gonna want one that's not quite as strong uh, because that's where we're gonna be doing overhead work and extension work. So um, for me, I've got just, I would have a 10 pounder on there and it's pretty good. So the one without the handles on it, get a little stronger one. We're gonna be doing bicep work there um, and some other work so you can use a little stronger one there. Um, besides that, we're gonna do a little bit of weight work as well. So that weight work, um, I'm gonna show you the two things that we're gonna do just so that you can pick out the right weight for you. So um, one of the items that we're going to do or one of the exercises is going to be a wide squat or sumo squat so your toes are pointed outward so you're going to have the weight here in front of you and bring it down and squeeze it up you're not going overhead with it so for me i've chosen a fairly um, a 20 pound weight um, this will be the heavier weight that you're going to use with this exercise and then one of the exercises we're going to do which i've got a little lighter weight uh, you'll have your leg back here um, and it's Basically, you're just going to keep that leg back, but you're not, again, you're not using your arms for these weights. It's more to weigh your legs down. So I've got a 15 on there. So choose what's appropriate for you, but that kind of gives you an idea of what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and get started this afternoon. I was going to see if anyone else popped on. Hey, Lisa, good to see you. Are you going to exercise with us today? Hopefully so. Excited to see you there. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I wanna warm up first. So we're gonna start out with jumping jacks and you can do the low impact here if you'd like, or you can bring it up here, higher impact. So it depends on you. It's all about your personal best here. So even if you start here and need to go to lower impact, that's all right. So let's keep it moving. Breathe. We want to get that heart rate going today. Remember, I talked about 220 minus your age. That's your maximum heart rate. All right, let's bring it here. 
Maximum heart rate, you want to try to keep it below that when you're exercising. Really at about 75 to 90% of your maximum. All right, let's bring those knees up here. Bring them up nice and high. We're starting to get that body all woke up, ready to work out. And let's press it overhead. Waking those shoulders up. Breathe. Pull that lung in through your nose, or pull that air in through your nose, and fill your lungs. And blow it out the mouth. There you go, let's bring it out to the side. We've got a full body workout for you today in 30 minutes. Plus we'll be doing, well, obviously some core work, and let's press it down here. And we're also going to be doing uh, some balance work. So we got a little bit of everything. Okay, let's punch it out. So press that one foot back, pressing that heel into the floor. Breathe. Don't forget to send me your selfies. Or send them to Samantha either way. We love to post them. It's kind of nice keep the community together kind of, and so it's nice to see people working out. All right, just a few more seconds here. Let's take those legs wide. I'm gonna stand sideways so you can see. I want you to keep your back flat, like a good morning, tummy pulled in as tight as you can. And let's just press those hips back away from us, stretching the back of our legs. Nice, keep it going. And let's come down, touch that floor if you can, bend that back. This gives me a nice little stretch in my low back area. You can let that head fall down. All right, bend your knees a little bit and roll it up. We got a few seconds here before we get started. So we're gonna start with that uh, lighter band that I talked about with the handles on. You're gonna step on that band. With your feet together, you wanna be right in the center. And we're gonna bring it out to the side, pulling it up. And let's go, guys. Nice work. Keep breathing. Nice. You know, one thing I didn't say, I've got this chair here, and that the reason is for when we do our balance work later, uh, just in case you need it. I should have told you guys that at the beginning. Keep it going here. We've got a few more seconds. All right. Let's go. And last one. Okay, now we're going to take it and we're going to go seated and we're going to row. So bring your feet out in front of you, just like this. And, we're, and actually, I'm going to have you switch bands to the heavier band here. And hold on to those handles and row it back. So you'll notice my back is nice and straight and I'm squeezing my shoulder blades as tight as I can. Keep it going. If it's not enough resistance for you, whatever band you have, just pull forward. Walk your hands forward on the band and you can make it even stronger. Keep going. We're going to have a rest after this. You can grab a drink. Keep going. Nice job. Breathe. Keep that back straight, tummy tight. And let's get one more here. All right. We're going to take a break. We're going to go back to, well, take a break here. Grab a drink. We're gonna go back to that side lateral raise again. All right, and we're gonna do that in just a few seconds here. Get that drink, stay hydrated. It's hot out there today. All right, guys. See if anyone else popped on here. Okay, looks like we've got just the folks that were already there. So we're gonna start here again, this one here. We're gonna bring it up to the side, like I said. So stand in the middle, and those palms are down, and you're just gonna bring it up. And let's go, guys. Breathe. We're gonna do a little lung exercise later in the workout, too, when we're cooling down, actually, but filling those lungs up. It's a whole, um, 
just a breathing method to help increase your lung capacity. Okay, we got 10 more seconds here. Keep going, guys. You're doing fantastic. This one here is a tough one for me. I can really feel it in my shoulders. Okay, keep going. Let's get two more here. There's one. And last one right there. Switch over to that harder band, that thicker band. Bring it down to the floor. And we're going to pull it back. So let's begin. Squeeze it back, squeezing those shoulder blades. This can also be done sitting in that chair. Just extend your legs out and pull back and sit on this, sit sideways on the chair and it will work just fine. Keep going. Squeeze those shoulder blades as tight as you can. Nice job. Keep going. Let's get three more. There's one, two, and last one. All right, let's take just a little bit of a breather. Shake those arms out, shoulders out. We're going to go to a bicep curl next on these. Um, we've got a little bit of time. Grab a drink as I talk. Um, for me, I'm doing it here, pulling it up. So try it with your uh, whatever one that you have and see how well that works for you. Uh, for me, that 50 pounder was quite a bit. So I'm going to go to a little lighter one. I'm going to grab it real quick. we got about 10 seconds before we start. So I'm going to use this one here for me, which is a 20 pound one. Step on it with both feet if you want more resistance. And let's begin, guys. Bicep curl it up. Squeeze those biceps as tight as you can at the top. So squeeze it. Keep that back straight, that tummy in the whole time. Squeeze it up. Feel those biceps popping at the top. So another thing I want you to think about when you're doing this, I want you to bring it down slow too. Don't let that uh, band pull you down really fast. Go down slow so that it works those muscles going up and going down. Keep it going. You got a few more times here. Here's one. Let's get three. So there's two. And here's your third one. All right, bring it down. Next, we're going to go to a tricep uh, overhead extension. Now I'm going to go back to my easier one. I'm going to step on it here with both hands or both feet. Make sure it's in the center. You're going to bring it here about back above your head here. We're going to go all the way over our head. So press it all the way up. And then you're going to bring those arms back and pull it up. Bring them back and pull it up. I'm going to scoot back a little bit so you can see my hands a little better. Bring it back. Squeeze it up. Squeeze those triceps as tight as you can at the top. And when it comes to bands, you've just got to kind of play with what works best for you. Keep going. Breathe. Keep that tummy as tight as you can and those glutes super tight. Squeeze those triceps. Don't let that band pull you down. Keep it going. Squeeze them tight. I'm going to have you do two more. Here's one. And there's two. Bring it down. We're going to go back to those bicep curls next. If you need to take a quick drink, please do so. Grab that drink and we'll go for the two more sets here. All right. So let's go for those biceps one more time here. Sculpting those arms. Step on that uh, band and pull it up. Again, remember your glutes super tight, your tummy sucked in and your posture is nice and straight. Bring those arms down slow. I noticed I went kind of fast. So bring it down slow. Breathe. Keep it going, guys. Keep breathing. And if you get like you've chosen a resistance band that doesn't feel like it's quite enough, just step your legs wider 
and that will make it harder. Keep those glutes tight. Keep it going. Let's get two more here. Here's one and two. All right, let's bring it down. Switching back to that tricep extension. For me, it's a little lighter band there. I'm going to take my legs a little bit wider this time because it wasn't quite as challenging as I wanted last time. Bands overhead. Bring it down. Squeeze it up. Again, squeeze the glutes and suck that tummy in. Training our tummies to be strong all the time. Keep that posture straight. Nice work. Keep going. There's three. Two, last one, stretch it up there. All right, let's bring it down and let's grab a drink. I'm doing a lot of uh, drink breaks. Staying hydrated is super important. I think I shared last week, but I was reading an article about um, the coronavirus and they were talking about make sure your water intake is adequate obviously it was cool it was like water intake sleep nutrition and um, exercise are all very very important so I thought that was really cool especially being a trainer so it reinforces what we do okay next one we're going to do is a shoulder press so you're going to take the bands here you're going to bring it up and we're going to just press it up here press it all the way up it's not Difficult enough, take those legs wider, make it more, make more resistance, press it all the way up. Keep going. Breathing. Keep going, guys. We got a few, few more here. Press it up, really work in those shoulders. Like always, keep the glutes and the tummy tight. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, last one here, and one. All right, let's bring it down. We're going to go to squats next, so you're just going to hold it here. Okay, you can use whatever is nice and challenging for you. I'm going to try my blue one. We'll see. I might have to switch it out midway, but I'm going to hold it here. Okay, bring those legs a little bit wide, a little more than hip distance apart, and we're going to squat it down and squeeze it up. So you've got some resistance going with that squat. Squat it, you want to sit that booty back and just bring it up. Keep going. Keep it moving, guys. Nice job. Keep going. All of these can be done with or without weights, by the way, or with or without bands. Okay, we got five more here. Here's five, four, three, two, and last one. Let's take a little rest. Whew. Shake out those arms even because holding that up there hurts. Okay. We're going to go back to the shoulder press in just a second here. Catch your breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose and extend it out the mouth. Let's bring that band right here and let's press it up. Oh, that one's tough. That's good. I need it. Okay, keep it going. Press it all the way up. Almost done with this one. Keep going, guys. I can feel this in my shoulders and my triceps, both. Maybe my triceps are fatigued from the last one. Keep going. Here's three, two, one more. Press it up. There you go. Nice job. And we're going to go back to those squats. So you're going to hold it here. I'm going to kind of wrap it around my shoulders to make it a little easier on my arms. Legs about hip distance apart and squat and bring it up. Squat, bring it up. Keep going. 
Squeeze those glutes super tight at the top. Keep yourself going. All right, guys, we're almost done with this one. Let's go five, four, three, two. Last one. There you go. Let's bring that band off. Bring it down. Okay, that's it on the bands. We're going to go to that sumo squat next, but we've got a little bit of time here. Grab a drink. Feel that in my shoulders for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get started here with that sumo squat. So I demoed it early on. You're simply going to hold the weight in your hand. And I suggest you form your hands like this and it, so it's kind of cradled here. That's how I like to hold my weights, keeps them even between both hands, so you're not using one hand more than the other. And you're going to take your legs super wide, and you can also cradle it right here if you'd like. Okay, cradle that top part of it. Super wide, squat it down, squeeze it up. This is perfectly fine as a slow motion. Another way you can hold that weight is down here. It's okay. The whole goal is just to make the legs work harder. That's why we've got the weight there. It's not really anything to do for your arms at this point. Keep going. Let's get five, four, three, two, and last one. Okay, we're gonna go to that back lunge that I talked about. Again, all these exercises can be done with or without weights. If you want to add challenge, add the weight in. So we're going to take the right leg back and we're going to leave it back there and we're just squeezing it up. Make sure that your front knee does not go over your toe and just lunge it up here. Squeeze that, bend it down, come up. When you're at the top, squeeze your glutes as tight as you can. Really working that leg. Keep going. Got a few more seconds here. Keep breathing. Okay, here we go. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, shake that leg out. Remember what leg you had in the back because you're going to switch next time. And we're going to go back to that sumo squat. I'm going to hold my weight down low. And catch your breath. Deep breath in through the nose. And exhale. And let's begin. Keep that back nice and straight here. So I want to see you coming down here. You don't want to be hunched over. You want to straight back, bring it down, squeeze it up tight. If you hunch that back, you start using your back muscles, and this is all about legs. Plus, you could injure your back because you've got this weight. Keep going. Squeeze it up tight. Breathe. A few more seconds here. Keep breathing. All right, we got four more. Here's four, three, two, and one more. Last time there. Shake those legs out. We're going to go to that opposite leg with our back lunge. So I had my right leg back before. We're going left this time. So bring it back. And you're simply going to lunge back and squeeze it up. Just lunge down, I guess I should say. Keep it going. Squeeze it up tight. Work on your form. Keep everything nice and tight here. Tummy in, back straight, glutes tight. Keep breathing. 
You've got five more. Here's five, four, three, two, and last one there. Squeeze it up, and you can put those weights aside. Okay, we are going to take a quick break here, grab a drink. Um, we're going to do a side plank, and I don't think we've ever done that in class before. If you cannot do a side plank, I'm going to have you do a high plank. You can do it on your knees, or you can do it on uh, your toes. I'll demonstrate all of them. So I'm going to start out with the side plank. You will be on the floor on your side here, okay? You're going to press up onto that hand like this and hold it. You can also come to your knees and hold it right here. Hold that tummy tight. So if you're on your knees, it's okay. Hold the tummy tight. If you can't hold the high one, you go to your knees. If you can't, and let's begin. If you can't hold that, bring it to a knee plank here or a toe plank, either one. Make sure your shoulders are above your wrists, though you don't want to be here with your butt in the air. You want to be here, and let's begin right here. Side plank if you haven't started it. Remember, you've got all those options. Breathe. We're on the right side, and then we'll switch to the left. If you're super strong, you can bring that hand up in the air as well, or you can thread the needle even harder. Okay. Few more seconds here. Let's bring it down. Let's go to the opposite side. So this time we're on the left. And this is all about your core. Again, you can do a regular plank if you'd like. Otherwise, bring it up here or even on your knees. Let's hit it. All right, here we go, guys. Squeeze it all tight. Hand up if you want it harder. Thread the needle if you want it super, super hard. Okay, keep going. We're holding these about 25 seconds, so if you want to know, these are challenging. You can always bring it to the knees if it gets too hard. Three, two, one. Okay, bring it all the way down. We're going to do something that's a little different. Haven't done it. I haven't done it anyway in the class with you all. So you're going to have your hands here behind you and you're going to come up. You can come up here like a crab position if you would like, but if you want to make this super challenging, take your legs out in front of you. Bring that tummy to the sky. Hold it tight, squeeze your booty, and squeeze your tummy. Again, to make it easier, just hold it here in the crab position or extend those legs to make it harder. Breathe. This is all super strong core work. Okay, you got a few more seconds here. And let's release. Let's roll those shoulders because that was a super challenging one. Roll them forward just to loosen them up a little bit. Okay, we're going to go to yet another plank move. This is going to be, a, you've done these before, a low plank. So I'm going to talk about form, have you get into your low plank, and that can be here on your toes, it can be on your knees, either way, but when you're doing that uh, plank, I want your palms facing the floor, your thumbs looking at each other, and then I want you to put your eyeballs right above your thumbs. When you do that, it helps you to position your shoulders above your elbows, and then squeeze your tummy as hard as you can. A lot of times I see people, their eyeballs are not above their thumbs, they're way back here and that makes their, their back at their elbows basically, makes their butt in the air. And that's not part of uh, working the core. Okay, let's breathe. Three, two, one, and bring it down. All right, guys, we are getting close on this workout. You have done amazing so far. So we're gonna work on a little bit of balance. That's why I got the chair here. We're going to start with the back leg extension. So your chair is there if you need it. If you don't need it, great. 
But what we're going to do, I'm going to have you come flat back, and you're going to bring your leg out here. Okay, and let's begin. Five, hold that tummy tight. I'm going to talk about your positioning of the post leg here. Squeeze your glutes tight. Squeeze your leg tight, and then grip those toes in the bottom of your shoe. Grip it as hard as you can. We have a few more seconds here. Oops, and I needed my chair. Three, two, one. Okay, rest. We're going to switch over to the other leg. So, think about the chair. If you need to grip the chair, grip the chair. If you can, try to get yourself to your tip, to your fingertips. Okay, let's go. Go to your fingertips, so you're relying more on your body and less on that chair. And slowly work your way towards without a chair. Keep that focal point, keep that leg up, tummy tight. Squeeze those glutes and that toe. And let's rest. Shake those legs out. Those always hurt. Hurts the glute that's squeezing so tight, I think it hurts. Okay, we're gonna go to a front uh, leg lift, front to the side. So it's gonna be right leg first to the side, bring it back to the front. Try not to touch down. Get your chair if you need it. Keep it going. Side to front. Nice work. I'm sure you find the more you work your balance, the better it gets. Keep going. All right, nice job. Last time there, we're gonna go to the other side. And here we go. So one thing about me, this is not my best post leg. The other side is, and so you guys see, I oftentimes have to touch the chair. You'll probably also notice one side is stronger for you, but just keep working on it, trying to balance it out. A few more seconds. Nice job. All right, bring it down. Shake those legs out, shake those arms out. I hope you found that nice and challenging today. So we're gonna do just some stretching here and some cooling down. So the first thing I want you to do is take a deep breath in through your nose. Raise those hands. And now blow it out. The next time I'm going to have you do that, I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose. Then I want you to hold it. And then I want you to fill those lungs even full, even more full, and hold it. And then, it, then it, um, blow it out your mouth. That will help to expand your lung capacity. So bring it in. And blow it out. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. More. And release. So that gets me lightheaded if I do it, if I do it holding it a long time, but that's good. That's that helps to expand your lungs. So once again, deep breath here. Let's take those hands, take that uh, left hand and grasp your right wrist. And let's pull it over to the side. All right, let's release that. Let's take the opposite hand in the wrist and pull it over to the side. Okay, bring that all down. We're going to cross the right leg in for over the left, and we're going to bring it down for a stretch. Keep that back flat and press those hips away from you. This is a great stretch, especially if you have uh, sciatica of any kind. This really helps it. You can drop that head if you'd like. Bring it down a little more. You can come down to your toes if you can. Deep breath. Exhale. All right, let's bring that up. Let's take the opposite leg over in front. Bring it all the way down. Breathe. All right, let's bring it up. I want you to take that right hand across the body. Stretch out that shoulder. And the left hand across, or arm across. Stretch. 
I can feel my shoulders already. Those bands kick my butt. So, all right, nice job, guys. Roll those shoulders back. And guys, have a great day. I enjoyed working out with you again, and I'll see you soon.